Welcome back to Korean for Americans. Nick here. Gabe. The Night Watchman. And Gabe and I are here for another episode of... Our Three Wickets. Yes! Oh, he finally gave it to us. I got to say, Nick, the, the, the comment section was blowing up last time. They were not happy when you didn't give us the, the official name. Not one person wicked. complained. Not one person <laughs> complained. It's fake news. It's fake news. Now, we understand that the Gujarat Titans and KKR, they played a match today. Titans were able to win that match. But we didn't watch that match. We didn't even watch a second of that match, so we are not going to uh, talk about that here. But I myself am very excited for the Gujarat Titans. I, I love when a new team comes out and they're able to do what they're doing. They're number one in the standings. Gabe and I both didn't believe in them, so that's on both of us. But I'm still very excited for them. And I'm also excited that Gabe's mistress lost once again, even though Russell lost his mind with his, his half century and his four wickets and the only over they gave him. Will you let, let Russell loose, please? Hashtag, but, free, uh, hashtag free Russell. Nick, it's so disappointing. Absolutely. But let us know. You can still comment below on that match what your favorite things are about. That Hardik Pandya is a monster. He's one of the best players in the IPL right now, no doubt. But there's quite a few best players in the IPL right now. He is definitely one of them. But we're talking about the debacle, the embarrassment, the thing that should have never been seen by eyes, and that's RCB losing terribly to SRH. It, uh, it was a situation where Gabe started the stream before me. I told him I'm going to sleep in just a little bit. I slept in like 45 minutes once after the match started. I woke up. I couldn't believe what was going on. I mean, I could as an RCB fan, but I couldn't believe that it was happening today. And that, I mean, I guess we have to say it, Gabe. I guess we have to say SRH is for real. Oh, gosh, no. Oh, we can't. Not oh like gosh. this, Nick. Not, oh, gosh. Why? 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 Oh, you can't man. It hurts to say SRH is for real because we trashed him. Okay, Nick, to your point, we trashed him. But you know who else trashed him? Every single cricket expert and pundit out there at the auction. What are they doing? They let go of the great David Warner. They let go of Johnny Bairstow. They they only retained Kane Williamson and Avishak Sharma. Uh, Looks like they knew what they were doing. Looks like they know what they were doing. And just saying, we get a lot of uh, 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 flack for getting calls wrong. A lot of people got uh, uh, calls wrong, including Harsha Bogley and his people. Uh, I'm just saying. Um, yeah, that's right. I'm throwing salt on it. it. It wasn't just us. But yes, Nick, we called them the wooden spoon. We said they'd be battling for the wooden spoon this year. Bottom feeders. Guess what? We were wrong. We were wrong, 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 wrong. And listen, since mm. RCB's your team, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into what I like. What did I like? Nick, Abhishek Sharma. They chose to retain this guy. I saw him play, and I did not think he was that good. And I was like, maybe they really retained him. Uh, they retained him. I'm pretty sure they retained Abhishek Sharma. Unless did he come from KKR? No, they retained him because I remember that was a big thing. They only retained um, Kane Williamson, and I want to say Abhishek Sharma. They let everybody else go. Maybe uh, uh. what was it? Ah, uh, see, now you got me some second judging myself. Uh, I hate you, but anyways. I'm sure you'll correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, any which way, I'm like, this kid, Abhishek Sharma, has done this multiple times this year. He is their leading scorer, not Ken Williamson. And you got to say, he's for real. He's for real. All right? And 47 on 28, 167 strike rate. He was not wasting time. Unfortunately, he did not get the half century. But this is about his third or fourth big game this season. And I got to say, I am impressed with Abhishek Sharma. Uh, he's a young guy, too, 21 years old. He's got Similac on his breath, bro. Listen, if he were in Vegas and he tried to go to the casino to gamble, that dude's getting carded, cousin. And, yo, the kids can play. The kid can play. Um, he's already got a 50, uh, I want to say, this year. For, uh, it, 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 it's impressive. It's impressive what he's done. And so far let's see where does he stand abishak sharma and run scores for the whole R I ipl this season um I'm, I'm sure nick you could give me those stats i was trying to find it myself but i'm not as yeah, i'll look it up right now for you but it's it, it, it's impressive abishak I mean, sharma is at number 15. he's at number 15 in the league and nobody knew who this kid was other than srh obviously and you got to tip your hat to him but with that being said 
How have they now gone to five and what is it? Five and two, Nick. Five and two, number two in the point standings. If they only and they got lost the first two, karma, and they've only they lost, lost the first two. Nick, it's because of their bowling. It's because of their bowling. Can we talk about Malik for a second? Malik is he's a savage. All right, Malik to me is Omar Malik is probably the equivalent of. Who's got crazy pace in like England and Australia, but that's not had that many chances either because of injury, it just doesn't get in. I mean, maybe like a Mitchell Stark. I mean, guys that just throw gas, bro. Gas today. Four overs, 13 runs, one wicket, a 320 economy rate. He is absolutely filthy. And the question was being asked, do you think he's going to make the T20 squad? Uh, uh, is he going to go to Australia? Yes, he should definitely go to Australia with his pace on those bouncy pitches. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love Umar Malik. I love their bowling. They might have the best he's, bowling in the whole he's league. He's fantastic. Nick. He's fantastic. You know, yeah, they, they have Booby, a really good bowling. Booby, who I remember clowning because Booby couldn't take any wickets. He hadn't in a while, by the way. Oh, but he shut me up this year. Another, uh, uh, another season. I mean, another game, only 2.3, uh, uh, two and a third over, but eight runs and a wicket. You got Marco Jansen, the uh, the uh, South African three-wicket hole. Not the Rahan with a three-wicket hole. This bowling attack is filthy. This bowling attack and Guttaraj Titans bowling attack is absolutely filthy. And they're the two teams that are, by the way, in the standings, one and two, and they're doing it with bowling, which, by the way, goes back to my argument that bowling – is more important than batting in cricket, it, it, especially in test cricket. You got – not test, I'm sorry, in uh, T20 cricket. You got to have those bowlers. You do. But that's what I like, Nick. What did you like? RCB, anything, any bright spots at all? Or maybe you like something on the SRH side. Go for it. There's no bright spots whatsoever in a game where you score 68 runs. And then when you get bowled out in the 17th over, at least you made it to the death. That's great. You get bowled out in the 17th over – and the other side chases you in eight overs, losing only one wicket. But I'll try to be positive here. Harshal Patel got a wicket. Like seeing that. And Prabhu Desi was a top scorer for RCB. I think he got 34 the last match or something like that. So it's nice to see him being able to score a little bit of runs um, recently. He was a top scorer with 15. It's all really, really bad. But what I like is correcting your incorrect things that you say. So let me add this, okay? I didn't know from the top of my head. I couldn't tell you. Abhishek Sharma was not retained, but yes, he's 15th in the league right now. 220 runs, fantastic. You want to know who was retained? First of all, Malik, who none of us knew who he was. Me and you, I mean. A lot of the fans did. So that was a great call by them. But also an Abdul Samad, okay? He was retained. You know what Abdul Samad was doing this match? He was sitting on the bench for crying out loud. Why? Because he got dropped from their starting lineup after the first two matches where he put together four runs. That was a bad call. But even with that being a bad call, one of the three guys you retained, I mean, that's it's almost as bad as who's the LSG that has doing this. That never even plays him right for crying out loud. But anyways, Samad is in some kind of terrible situation. They they lose Sundar to injury, which is so, you know, horrible Sad. for them. Sad. Could you imagine um, if to Sundar was still back, bro? Sad. Continue. Nathrajan, he is coming back after being unfit for so long. He looks – this team on paper in some ways doesn't make sense. You lose Jason Holder. You lose David Warner. You lose Johnny Bairstow. Those are all pretty big names, right? You lose all those guys. But you know who you didn't lose with SRH? Kane Williamson. Can we talk about this guy's captaincy? Can we talk about zero and two and they've won five in a row and they're the only team to beat the Titans? And like Robbie said, they made them look like the molecules for crying out loud in that one match. This I team hate, hate is <laughs> absolutely fantastic. And it's so embarrassing that what RCB did, I'll get to that later, but that's all I had to like. Very little from the RCB side. Gabe, what did you dislike? What did you hate? Nick, just to uh, to your point, thank you for correct. Thank you for correcting me. You're absolutely right. Uh, they didn't keep Abhishek Sharma. I think he was with RC, not, not RCB, with uh, uh, the Punjab Kings. If I, if I'm not mistaken, he was one of the guys that came over. But you know, you 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 talked about Umar Malik. Nick, today he sat 
And that means his average, average pace was 146, 147. He had balls at 148 and 151. Heat. Heat. Because that's, that's what wins games. That guy's got serious pace, and he better be on those flat grounds in Australia, those flat, pitchy grounds. I mean, Nick, heat, just pure heat. The guy throws fuego, fuego. We're going to call him the fireman, baby, because he's throwing balls out there at 148, 149, 151. Hold that, cousin. You know what I'm saying? So, And you need guys like that. That's going to knock the bat out of your hand. So super impressed with him. I really do like him. And to your point, that's who they retained. It wasn't, and we were, we didn't know who he was. So that's bad on me. All right. What did I dislike on the SRH side? First and foremost, I dislike that Robbie jumped in our stream, somehow hacked us. That is not acceptable. Seriously. Right? You know, I think Han's going to be doing it. Unacceptable. What's going on here, man? Uh, it's, 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 it, it can happen. It can happen. But on a serious note, what did I dislike? Nick. For me, I think that this squad, I still look at it and think to myself, where are the runs going to come from? Okay? You've got Abhishek Sharma. you got Kane Williamson batting at basically 100. And I get it. What you were saying is, oh, they're just batting slowly because why, you know, uh, what do you call it? Um, why rush it and lose and, and give uh, RCB any chance, right? But Adam Markham's had a couple of good games. Nicholas Perron's maybe had one or two good games. I mean, if he starts firing, that's a different story. But for the guy, Nicholas Perron, who they paid all this money for, Perron doesn't even come in. It's Tripati who comes in at three. That's your number three batsman, Raul Tripati, when you paid Nicholas Perron a fortune? I mean, just saying. Just saying. And they're top heavy, bro, because once they do get cleaned out and you lose uh, 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 Nicholas Perron, you're done. And you're, the fact that they lost... Washington Sundar, their all-rounder, really means that this team has five, five strong batsmen. Yeah, you know, Perron, it depends what Perron we get. And then that's it, Nick. So we saw that today that they have to put a Chapati in at a three. Is Chapati a number three batsman in any other team? Just saying. Uh, he's, he's been really good this season. He's been fantastic. Remember, he was at like four, I think, KKR last year. They went to the finals. Oh, bro. Get the job KKR done. kept dropping – uh, KKR kept dropping them, putting them up, putting them down. I'm just saying, is that the guy that you're counting on after uh, – I would put him at like five, you know what I'm saying? Even a six, whatever. Four, it doesn't matter. What I'm saying is that they're only five deep as far as their batsmen are concerned. And how can you survive? What happens if you lose a Kane Williamson? Forget about – to, 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 to injury, but just a good bowling attack. They come up against the Titans, all right, which, by the way, they beat the Titans. Wow. SRH, this is the last three wins. Titans, number one in the league, okay? RCB today, number two in the league, were before this, and CSK, who won the championship last year. They may be for real. But, Nick, that's the only thing I found that I they dislike. I just don't like how light their batting... Uh, I don't like how light their batting order is. My friend, what did you... Oh, gosh. Let me let me get ready for this. Popcorn! What did you dislike? All right. I'm gonna try to be calm and professional here. Okay. The thing that makes me super nervous as an RCB fan is I just put a video out about why I think this team is different. And they literally took all the points using research and data and numbers and all that kind of stuff. And they literally just said, Really? You think we're good? And they just tossed it out the window. DK, Mr. Not Out, duck on three balls. You know, he, he's he's bound to have a performance like that every once in a while. Coley, second match in a, row, in a row, golden duck. Second match in a row. You heard me right. He's seen two balls. He's gotten he's lost two wickets the last two matches. Okay? Shabazz Ahmed, strike rate of like 50 or some nonsense like that. Let me get the numbers right in front of me. It's so bad. Actually, 58. Excuse me. Rawat also had a duck before Coley. Five two pluses. Five to plus e, right? Five runs for crying out loud. Maxwell, 12. I mean, here's the scoring by RCB side. Five, zero, zero, 12, 15, seven, zero, four, eight, three, two. I mean, I just told someone's locker combination for crying out loud. I just gave like half the world's pin numbers for crying out loud here and there. So many single digits, 
So many zeros. I might be looking at the matrix right now. I'm not exactly sure. This is just absolutely atrocious. And they saw, and they saw, you know, lots and lots of balls. They didn't know what to do with it right here. It was absolutely atrocious. And it wasn't the pitch. It wasn't the pitch because it didn't stop SRH, who game says can't even score runs from getting to 60. No, what they, they got past that because that's six, 72 and only losing one wicket in the eighth over at the end of the very end of the eighth over. This is nothing but deplorable. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys with a strike rate under 50. Okay. And only two of them, only two of them are true bowlers. How in the world, one of them, excuse me, how in the world do you have Siraj with the 50 strike rate? Right? How does that happen when you have so many others that can't even get to 50? Hey, Siraj, can you give me some tips in the Nets this week? How you got that 50 strike rate? It is a, <laughs> it's a question that no one's asked him. He's going to think it's April 1st when you ask him that question. This team is so disappointing because even with this loss game and they have one more match than the other teams in the top four, they're still in the top four. How does that happen? They're still in the, they're still in the top four. That's how unbelievable this is on the stream. I said, they have two of these matches every single year. Guess what? This is already the second one. Why? Because the first match they put up two Oh five and they couldn't defend that. Fav Duplessis, he gets 96 or 88. Couldn't even defend it for crying out loud. So this is their second stinker of the game of the season. They only have three losses. This is so bad. Oh my gosh. And I can't believe I'm saying this. I cannot believe I'm saying this. But thank goodness they only play SRH one time. Thank goodness. Oh wait, no, because they're group B. They got them another time. Oh my goodness gracious. This is oh, so is. bad. Group B on group B crime. Why do we have to happen? Why do we have to have it? SRH yeah. is just, they're just unbelievable. Five in a row. Congrats to them. RCB, they are who we thought they were. And I'm only so, smiling because I love that line. I got to say, what did I learn? Nick, very simple. RCB, are you ready for this? Here's my thesis. They're the Yankees. And this is why they're the Yankees. It's the Do most pressure. they have pressure. 27 championships? No, they don't have 27 championships. <laughs> but what they do have are some of the biggest names in sports and zero championships right now, just like the Yankees. And they and what they do have is one of the biggest fan bases, which alludes to some of the biggest pressure to perform. Guys go there and crumble. This is not the Fav Duplessis we saw with CSK. The guys had maybe one good match. This is like, like I think guys come here where careers go to die. They've had the universe boss. They've had Barack Coley. They, KRO, everyone. Think about who's been on the scene, A.B. De Villiers, and cannot win a championship, Nick. I think this is pressure-packed. And to your point, Chahal was here, and he was always a low-economy guy, but he gets out, out of RCB. He's a leading wicket-taker in the IPL this year, leading for the uh, 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 sorry, leading for the purple cap. Nick, that's what, they, that's what it is. RCB has probably got the most pressure on them to win, and they've got one of the biggest fan bases. They're the Yankees. What did you learn? Oh, I learned that you can't – with RCB, you can't take too much out of this game. It's just it's all bad. It's just all bad. There's really nothing you learn from this match. The players are going to say, oh, you know, we just came off on the right, wrong foot, all this kind of stuff. I think Foff said anything, something like close to that. You can't learn anything from this match. Because it was all bad. It was so bad. You can't even talk about it as players. You can't even think about it. You, you just got to close that book, close that chapter, throw underneath something, dig it in a hole and leave it there. You just got to leave it there and you've got to move forward. All the props to SRH and their deadly bowling attack. Sometimes you have matches. As, as mad as I am, I'm not trying to excuse any of it, but sometimes you have these types of games in sports. You really do. And instead of going over the deep end and saying RCB's done, I'm not going to say that. But this has got to be a wake-up call. This has got to be a situation where we don't take anything for granted if I'm an RCB player. 
We put all the extra time in the, in the nest as we can. We're not outside partying. We're not talking about this or that with all these different people. Um, we are just coming for business and taking care of our own. And I have confidence that they'll do much better the next game. But what I learned is you can't take anything from this because it's all bad unless you're SRH. And even if you're SRH, I'm assuming with a King Williamson led team, they're going to say, he's going to say, listen, this was great. This was fantastic. This was historic. On to the next match because we've got to put in the work and do it again. That's what I learned. Well, I mean, guys, honestly, those are our, th our thoughts on this match. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, midway through, this is basically the midway point. Some very surprising uh, happenings here in uh, the IPL. It's going to be an exciting finish to the season in the second half. Uh, continue to like and subscribe. Continue to check out our live streams. Final thoughts, Nick? My final thoughts are congrats to SRH fans. Um, RCB fans, this was tough. We're going to, you know, if we take it on the chin, we're going to keep going. That's a boxer's reference. We're just going to move forward. It sucks. It's horrible. I hope that all these guys, especially Verat Cole, are able to bounce back in the next match, which is, I believe, on Tuesday for crying out against the Royals. Oh, my goodness gracious. But with all that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, that's it, runs.